Hi, welcome to Humble Warrior Yoga. I'm Caroline and welcome to this release and relax flow. So this is not for a warm up to do some exercise, but this is rather for more like the end of the day if you've been on your feet all day or after you've done some exercise, just to help release any tension in the muscles and relax them. So we're gonna start in extended child's pose. Hit the knees nice and wide, big toes to touch, Sitting the hips back towards the heels. And if you want to stay here, you can if that feels like enough. Otherwise, reach the arms out and just melt the head and the heart down towards the ground. Taking some deep breaths here, so breathing into all four sides of the torso. And if you wanted to gently rock the hips from side to side, you can. And then coming up to all fours, so finding a tabletop position, wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And we're just going to do a little bit of cat and cow, just to gently release any tension in the lower back. So inhale, lift the tailbone, looking forwards. Exhale, rounding through the spine, allow the head to drop down. A couple more with your own breath. And we'll just do one more. Nice. So we're going to step the left foot in between the hands at the front into a low lunge. And just see how that feels straight away. If you need a little bit more, you can just walk that back knee back a little bit. See if you can sink the hips further down. So you feel a nice stretch in the right hip flexor. Just remembering to breathe deeply. We don't want to be exerting too much effort here. We're trying to release tension and relax our body. You can have a little gentle sway here if that feels good. And I'm going to shift the hips back, straighten that front leg and flex the toes towards the face. You can have a hold here, folding over the legs, or if it feels better for you, just gently rock forwards and back. Maybe you can fold a little bit deeper. Remember, we're just looking to stretch the muscles out. We're not looking to improve our flexibility at this point. Perhaps not folding as deeply as you usually would. And come back to the front. We're just going to shuffle that left foot out to the side. We're in a lizard variation. You can either stay here up on your hands or maybe you want to lower down to the forearms. And you can even roll onto the outer edge of that left foot. And you can press that hip open if that feels good. And you're going to bend that back leg, drawing the heel towards the glutes. If you can reach around and grab hold of that foot, you can draw it in a little bit closer, stretching through the quads on the right leg. If you can't reach that foot, no worries, just keep actively drawing it in towards the glutes. And gently release that foot down. You can tuck the toes and lift the back knee. Just have a gentle little rock front and back. And then you're going to bring this left foot back in, so we're framing that front foot. And you're just going to step back to a downward facing dog. Don't worry too much about this shape here, we're just going to start to pedal out through the feet, straightening one leg whilst bending into the other. Just noticing if one side feels different to the other. And lower down to the knees, 
I'm going to do that on the other side. So when you're ready, stepping the right foot forward, framing that right foot with the hands, trying to sink the hips a little bit lower. So maybe move that back knee further back. Having a little sway here, if that feels good. And then going to shift the hips back, straighten the front leg, flex the toes towards the face. And again, you can either hold here, folding over that leg, or you can gently rock back and forth. You try to imagine you're sending your breath down to the lower body. And when you come forward, you're just going to walk that right foot out further over to the right into a lizard variation. And again, you can come down onto the forearms if that feels good. And you can turn onto the outer edge of that right foot and use your right palm just to press that right knee open, sinking the hips a little bit lower. And then drawing that left foot towards the glutes. Again, if you can reach it, grab a hold of that foot, draw it in a little bit closer. If not, don't worry. Gently release the grip of the foot, plant the palms, you're going to tuck the back toes and lift the knee. And again, maybe having a little rock side to side, front and back. And then just walk that right foot back in, planting the palms, so you're framing that front foot, stepping back to downward facing dog again. And again, just pedaling out the feet here. And come down to all fours. Okay, so we're just going to come to take a seat. Taking the legs out nice and wide. So you don't want to take them too wide that it feels like a struggle to sit up nice and tall. Just as long as they're a bit wider than hip width apart. So sitting up nice and tall here, plant the right palm down, left arm overhead, side bend over towards the right. Take it to the other side. And then turn the torso to face the right leg, folding forwards towards that leg. And to the other side, turn to face the left leg, folding forwards. And back to centre, and folding forwards again, just walking the hands forwards. You don't have to come all the way down to the ground. Most of us probably can't anyway. And slowly walking back up. And we're going to come down to our backs now. So just gently make your way down to your back. Keep the left leg extended out long. You're going to draw the right knee in towards the chest. Right palm to the right knee. We're just taking a few circles. Try to make the movement come from the hip joint. We're just using the right hand to guide. And take those circles in the opposite direction. And send in the foot up high. So you can hold on behind the back of the hamstrings. You're just going to point and flex the toes. So your leg doesn't need to be fully straight. You can absolutely keep a bend in your knee here. Maybe drawing that leg in a little bit closer. And then bend into the left knee. You're just going to bring this right ankle, cross it over the left knee. So in like a figure four shape with the legs here. If that's enough, you're going to stay here. 
Up wide, you can draw the knees in towards the chest and slice the hands around the back of the thigh. And then drop that left foot to the ground, keep this shape in the legs, and you're just going to drop the knee down to the left. So if this right foot doesn't come all the way down to the ground, you can just hold on to the ankle. Just allowing it to come down as far as it will, without forcing. Feel a big stretch into the IT band, into the outer hip. And gently lifting back up. You can keep this left foot on the ground. You're just going to take hold of the outer edge of the right foot. Take a half happy baby. If you can't reach the foot, you can hold on to the shin or maybe even the back of the thigh. Just allow that hip to open up, drawing it down towards the rib cage. And gently release, and we'll do that on the other side. So send that right leg out long, draw the left knee in towards the chest, bring the left palm to the left knee, taking a few circles, moving from the hip. And take them in the other direction. Send the foot up high. Interlace the hands behind the back of the thigh. We're just going to point and flex. Maybe after a few, drawing the leg in a little bit closer. It's okay to feel some sensation, but we absolutely don't want to feel any pain or any pulling. Remembering to breathe deeply. And you're going to bend that right leg, so bring the foot flat to the ground, guiding the left ankle over the right knee. And again, if that's enough, you're going to stay here, otherwise you can draw the knees in towards the chest. Feel a nice stretch in the glutes and the outer hip. I'm going to bring that right foot down to the ground, keeping that shape in the legs. I'm just going to shuffle over because I didn't leave myself enough room here. <laughs> I'm just going to lower the legs over to that side, over to the right. And again, if that left foot doesn't make it all the way down to the ground, just gently hold on to it, keep it in that shape. You should feel the stretch all up this outer hip, into the IT band. Slowly unravel everything. I'm going to reach for the outer edge of this left foot, taking a half happy baby on this side. Again, it doesn't matter if you can't reach the foot, you can grab hold of the shin or the back of the thigh. Just working to draw that knee down to the rib cage, to the outside of the rib cage. Nice. Gently release. Okay, bring the soles of the feet together. Just allow the knees to gently drop open to the side. If that feels a bit intense, then you can always grab a couple of cushions and just wedge them under the outer edge of your thighs just to support you. Just taking a few breaths here. Bring the hands to the outside of the thighs, just gently closing up the legs. So for our final posture, we're going to take the legs up the wall. So if you have a wall available to you, just going to shuffle right up against the wall. Send the legs up. The hips as close as possible to the wall. 
You can rest your arms on your belly, out to the side, whether it feels good. If you don't have access to a wall at the moment, if you can't get close to one, just grab hold of a cushion. You're just going to place it underneath the hips. Just floating the legs up. So the hips are slightly raised, which is going to help you to keep the legs up high. They should feel weightless, almost like they're floating. And I'd like for you to stay here for at least a couple of minutes. Five minutes would be fantastic. Just letting the blood flow in the opposite direction. This posture is really great for you if you have restless leg syndrome, it can really help with that. I suffer myself from time to time and even if I wake up and my legs are sort of twitchy, it's worth just spending a couple of minutes in this position just to help you get a good night's sleep rather than tossing and turning for hours. You're going to stay there for a good couple of minutes, coming out whenever you're ready. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope your legs are feeling a lot more relaxed and you're able to settle down and relax for the evening or for the rest of the day. Thanks so much for watching.